Hi friends, Harry Yowie with our Ayari. Um, let's see what we can do today. We have some um, <clears throat> chakra. I'm oh, so used to having the boxes in front of me. Chakra wisdom. I think that's what it's called. I'll list it in the in the description below. And I'm gonna try to do a shorter video today because my phone is dying. Okay, ooh, I like this card. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, self-evaluation. Look how pretty that is, this purple. And that is a card number 42 and four is all about balance um, and being on the right path if you're looking at um, angel numbers. And two is about collaboration, but six is all about love. Like 2022, right? Like June. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this is the Young Memoria. And I love, 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 love this deck. I am a star seed from Lemuria. Well, one of my incarnations is in Lemuria. And for some reason, that is what I resonate with the most. Um, originally, Arcturian, but the apparently I already had a good time in Lemuria. Lemuria was a different dimension. Um, you know, we were much more enlightened than we are here, so that's probably why I liked it so much. There was, they had a lot of technology. Um, all right, oh. The portal keeper. The portal, and as much as I use these cards, I've never seen either one of these cards. The portal keeper, and this is number 50, which is transformation. And the zero enhances that. And I'm loving that cat. I'm loving that cat. And I'm, I'm very attracted to to its eyes or eye you can see no you can see both eyes and and that that almost takes you down is the portal that takes you down very nice okay this is an um angels and ancestors okay we don't need that many people <clears throat> Oh, the energies. Okay. And again, I don't think I've ever seen this card. Wow. So there's a newness to the energy. Winter, take care of your needs winter take care of your needs actually i think i said if if, if i gotten this card before i said that i didn't know why there was a head of a dead animal that's not taking care of their needs anymore but but i don't remember seeing it i remember the the comment and I don't know if, the, if it's about that card, because I really don't remember that card. Maybe there's another animal that you can only see the head, like it's on the wall. Um, and this is an animal spirit oracle. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Tend to the small things. And it, there's 
you know, importance in the details, right? Importance in the details. Yes, indeed. This is Angel Answers. It's up to you. It's up to you. Hmm. And the mouse spirit is number 40. And it has the four, which is all about the balance here. We have the 42. Balance. Um, not community, but partnership and love for the six. So we're starting to get a message across. And let's see which Ascended Master is helping us today. I hope my phone doesn't die or cut off the video. Um, I need to find a way to plug it in here while it's recording so that doesn't happen. I need to figure that out. You know, it's in the details, right? <laughs> it's in the details. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. And this is, and again, I don't think I've ever seen that. I've never, I've seen this one. I don't know that one. Fertility. Pan. Wow. Fertility. And fertility is also about, you know, creating things. It's not just about having a child. It's about the creative process, you know, being fertile in that way, in your creativity. Um, all right. So let's see what Tarot has to say. What insight, insight Tarot is going to give us. Okay, okay, okay. So all of those cards, again, are in reverse. So there's a lot of blocks. There's a lot of blocks. And the first one is the Ten of Swords. Tens are ends of cycles. And when you have Ten Swords in your body, you're dead dead. And that's another end of a cycle. But swords are about thoughts, communication, your perception, the way you process the information in your brain. So there's a block there, okay? And there's a lot of hurt. But if, if it's almost like it's in the reverse, in the reverse, right? Because that is the definition of the card. Um, so in reverse is that either something is not going to come to a close or you still have some work to do to finish that cycle. All right. Three is all about community. And we see a family there, the mom, the dad, the kid, or the two parents and the kid. But it's also in reverse and it's pentacle. So it's about material things, not necessarily just money, but material things. So... Three, 
in reverse is a need to get away from community. It's, it's a need to be by yourself, to, to put some dis distance between the groups and so you can focus on yourself to, 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 to do whatever you need to do to move forward in the, in the faith that you are in the, in the growth and the faith phase that you are working on towards your goal. So, so this goes really well with this car because you know, the end of a cycle is not completed because there's some work to do. And, and that work that you need to do is have some solo time, have some time to yourself. And, and that doesn't mean you move away from your family. No, it's, it's that time that you pray, that you meditate, that you take a walk, you know, have that cup of tea, cup of coffee on your own so you can think. If you can isolate a little bit, it's like some hermit time, right? If you can isolate a little bit, that'll be good too. But it's not, you know, not going to work and staying in bed for two weeks. That's not what we're talking about. It's introspection. It's thinking about things. It's thinking about the process. Now, the magician. The magician is the person can that can bring about whatever he wants because he has all the skills but you're blocked so there's something in your thought process there's something that you are being overwhelmed is what i'm hearing is what my guides are telling me you are overwhelmed with everything that's going on around you so you need a little time so you can get your head straight and then recognize all the skills that you do have. To manifest whatever is what you want. And then we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is like some it's, it's the establishment. So it's a job, it's a marriage, it's the so this is gonna give you the clue is is government, it's all of that. So that's and it's also in reverse. So you are having some issues with that, with a marriage, with a job, with the church, with the government, whatever it is. So you really need to distance yourself from that have some time to think and it's up to you it's telling you it's up to you to do that and it's in the details and is to regain your creative power is to regain that insight right and i need to hurry up because my phone is saying that it's gonna go dead soon all right, okay, so I'm gonna just do the charm because we can get some more messages with the charms here, okay? And we just said messages, messages. Somebody's gonna call you, somebody's gonna give you a message, or this message is what you needed to hear that. Take that time, take that time for introspection, take that cup of tea, that cup of coffee, that time that walk outside, that time of meditation, of prayer. Take that time. What is the Lama? The Lama is all about transformation, right? It's about hard work. So when, when, you, when you work hard, then your dreams are going to come true. And this is work. This is the work that you need to do. And then, you know, the skeleton hand, the skeleton hand always makes me feel that, you know, you're reaching too much, too much. It's almost like an octopus. You're reaching too much. It's again, a call to retrieve. 
you know, to do what you need to do to have that time. Have that time to yourself. All right, a little rushed, but we got through. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know your story. I would love to know, okay? And I'll see you all tomorrow.